<sighs> Hello. Uh, welcome to the start of what is hopefully going to be a new series. Um. Obviously, if you haven't been living under a rock for the past like ten years or so, you know what game this is. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Uh, this isn't going to be a normal playthrough. This is going to be like a little challenge run. Um, so the things are, uh, I can only use items I find in chests and whatnot like that. Uh, so items only in chests, only exceptions being ingredients, uh, I can pick those up, those up off of clusters or whatever, you know, the flowers. I can harvest those whenever I want. Um, what else? There's, I suppose I can also buy things from vendors, but, you know, I don't know, it might make it more challenging if I couldn't, uh, I don't know, but then like, the only purpose for gold at that point would be like buying ingots, maybe lockpicks and stuff, uh, and also, I don't know, we'll figure it out as we go. And also, followers are Approach going to be... And choose where your new life shall begin. Leaving your life to chance. Um... Followers are going to be level capped. So... <sighs> I mean, I don't, I don't know how I'm going to figure it out still. <laughs> like, I still have a lot to figure out. Like, how this whole thing is going to work. But, oh. Okay. <laughs> this is a good way to start off. <laughs> like, alright. I like it. I like it. Alright. Okay, so I'm on recruiting and stuff. Investigate the abandoned prison. I've heard rumors the Thalmor have been using an abandoned prison to house caps. There must be a reason they are trying to keep their activities their secret. I should investigate. I don't remember that. Guess we just skip past awakening and stuff. Wait a second. Oh, uh, we just skipped past all the first Serana stuff. What the fuck? Yes. Okay, I'm just curious as to why you have your axe out, sir. Alright. Now, I, I could go around, but like, it'd be pointless, because like, there are Dawn Guard weapons around. But I can't... Like that right there, even if I wanted to use a greatsword, I couldn't, because it's not in a chest. Ah. <laughs> uh, Can I pick those up? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna play it safe and keep by my rules. Only things out of chests. <laughs> Only things out of chests. And harvesting ingredients and whatnot. No survival mode either. No survival mode. Then maybe we can do something about this mess. Wait, I will. I will. Don't you worry your little bald head over it either on. I got you. I got this. One hundred percent. I got this. This is this is this is in the bag. I walked. Okay, is in the bag. What's up? All right. <sighs> I went the wrong way. But you know what? That's cool. Oh, this is neat. I don't know if this is a thing added by a mod or if this is always here, but like I never exploratized this. This is neat. Oh, speaking of chests, ah, uh, enemy creatures and people with an eight feet have a chance to flee from combat. That's sick. Just take all of it. All right. 
free level up. I'm not gonna use that. Um, let's put the ring on, and we'll favor the shield just so I can get it out when I get the um steel dagger out. All right, <sighs> let's let's get out of here. We have quite the rock, the walk to uh. Riften Stables. Where are the stairs to get out of here exactly? Right here. Thank God. Alright. No, I don't think the series is going to be like a, a prominent part of my routine. Wow. Um. Yeah, I'm so lost in here. I don't know where to go. <laughs> here it is. Uh, this series isn't going to be part of my... No. Uh, it's not gonna be part of my prominent routine. Like I think, 2K22 and Sims 4 are gonna still have higher priority than this. But you know, we'll see. Hmm. hmm? What do you need? Nothing. Apparently. Um. What do you need? I'm thinking about only releasing episodes of this on a. Uh, Wow. Dodges many fangs. Yes. Dude, I thought that was hair at first. I thought you were a person. I got catfished. Uh, scratching my ear real quick. Um But yeah. I think I'm thinking about only releasing episodes of this on uh Sundays and stuff. Not like everyday thing, like a Sims or a WWE. So like I said, things are subject to change. Like, whenever I finish this first Franks to Riches series, I might say, Hey, I want to do more Skyrim before the next one. So I might do more Skyrim. 2K22, I, I reckon, is going to go on for a pretty long time, I'd imagine. Depending on how long the, um... Uh... Uh... Career thing is... I also have my GM mode to explore and the women's side of the my rise career stuff too so there's still a lot to do in that Sims 4 is still limited Sims 4 is limited I only have the um the left of the what's left of the first Rags to Riches series this Rags to Riches series get famous in Strangerville and then I'm done with that I can't really do anything else unless I do like a build challenge or whatever uh but oh boy ow all right that's really simple yeah the crossbow is a very powerful early game i'm pretty sure so <laughs> we we 100 locked out on that start but to get more easily, like, I think I have to get steel smithing, or, um, serene, and buy more. So, I don't know. We'll, um, we'll cross those paths as we get to them, I guess. Oh. That's right, stupid bitch. Come up on a unexperienced, experienced hunter as me. What do you think was gonna happen, stupid idiot? You gonna hopefully <laughs> things don't lag to or buffer or frame rate stuff to all oblivion. That would suck. Yes. Ass. Who's killing who? Call it what you want. If you don't pay, then you're not getting in. Don't want in, huh? Fine. Have a good walk to the next city. No one's killing anyone. Oh, I got scammed. 
carriage it's where do you want to go um I suppose Where are S I know where Serene is, but where's Gunmar? Up by Morthal? Morthal doesn't have a um a carriage driver, so I'd have to walk over to Solitude. Where do you want to go? Morthal. I should do this just so I have access to steel bolts. <sighs> and uh you know, so I can I I won't probably won't have the gold for them, but I'll have the option there, I guess. I'll have someone to sell things to as well. I'm pretty sure I have a mod that adds like ten thousand gold to each vendor, so uh which one's Gunmar? That one. So this one? Yeah, okay. This one. Perfecto. Alright. Let's get up here to Gunmar. Probably have to kill a bear or a troll or something and then or whatnot. And uh I'll go to Fort Dongard and then I have to walk up to Solitude to get to the stables to hire a carriage driver to go to Markarth and then walk over to get Serene. So it's quite the process, but what the hell? What in the world was that? It was these fricks. That's what it was. Dude, I was so confused at first. Oh, great. Die! Thank God they're the little ones, not the small. Think, yeah, okay. Thank God they're not the little ones, but not in this. One. Whatever. Thank God they're not the big ones, they're the little ones. That's great. Appreciate that. Um, big ones were would have been a way, way bigger problem. Obviously, because they're big, <laughs> and they're more powerful, and they're more <laughs> scary. Dude, those scared me so much. And when I first saw the, the, the little patches appear on the ground, I didn't know what to think. <laughs> I turned around and saw the spider. I, I honestly got scared a little bit. But, you know, they're just spiders. Oh, Gunmar. What's up, Gunmar? Hold fast. I've tracked this damn bear for two weeks. I'll not let it have any more victims. Isra needs your help. Isra needing someone else's help. Never thought I'd hear that. Yeah. I'm afraid he's a few years too late. I've moved on. I have more important business to attend to. Besides, he can handle anything alone. He assured me so himself. What could he possibly need my help with? Isn't that funny? Isn't that crazy how you think you wouldn't hear from someone, but when they need your help, it's like, oh, hey, how's it going? We're up against the vampires. Vampires? That's, That's what I said. Well, that might change things. Tell me more about what's going on. We're not sure, but they have an Elder Scroll. By the eight. Nine. Look, or consider it. But I can't just leave this bear to prey on more innocent people. Once it's dealt with, then perhaps I'll see what he's running. Mm, it's a bear. Help Gunmar defeat the bear. I should be a piece of cake. He's just a bear. It's just a bear. Wouldn't it be that big of a problem, right? Is Gunmar in here with me? Nope. Fair enough.
Gunmar still isn't in here with me. Oh, there he is. Finally, you decided to show up. I thought I was going to fight the bear by myself. It's your prey you've been tracking. Okay, so it's right there behind that thing, and there's a wolf route. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Got a rock joint! Fun. Yeah. It is one less monster in the world, ain't it? Can I get up here by chance? Can I just get on this little ledge here? Nope. Alright. Okay, got more. I'm with you. Oh boy. Whew. I got you, Gunmar. I'm with you. Get it. Kill it. Gunmar, no. <laughs> oh God. Ow. Oh my god! <laughs> I tried to hit inventory twice, and I fucking hit shift both times. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. Oh my god, I'm fucking stupid. Alright. The wolves aren't the problem, the bear is the problem. Oh, that did nothing to it. Absolutely nothing. I just shot Gunmar. Oh my god, I just shot Gunmar. I also have a level up. Why didn't I use the level up? I'm so stupid. Okay, I think the wolves are dead. Nope, there's still one right there. And oh my god. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's one dead. Ow. Dude, the bear is so fast! Oh my god! Gunmar, please get up. Please get up. Please get up, Gunmar. Please, please, please get up. Please get up! Gunmar, please! Ow! That hurt! <laughs> okay, I guess it gave me the extra level up. Anyway. I don't want to use that extra level up, but it gave it to me anyway, so. I'll put one into one-handed and one into archery. There we go. Okay. Die. Die. Oh! I honestly thought it just killed me again. I'll be honest with you. Don't know how you've helped me, so I suppose the least I can do is find out what Mistran wants. He's still at that fort in Stendhal's beacon, I assume. Yeah, he said meet him at Fort Dongard. Of course he did. He's been working on that quest for years now. Never lets anyone in. His own little fortress. Well. I guess I'll get to see what he's been up to all this time. I'll meet you there. Great. Thank you. Oh, man. I can get my bolt back. First episode, and already a very intense fight. I already died in the first episode, too. Oh. I guess I should specify. I can get gold from dead bodies. I can get gold from bodies and on tables and stuff. Like an end tables. Otherwise, like, how would I get gold? Besides, like, selling stuff and finding chests. But then, like, what would be the point, you know, of getting stuff from chests if I couldn't use them and I had to sell them? Of course, I guess that would add an extra challenge. Like, what, what, what do I sell versus what do I keep? But, I, you know, no. Just, just, to, just to give myself a little something, I could pick up gold out of end tables, bodies, tables, um, off of tables and stuff like that, so. I'll see.
see you at Fort Dawn. Any gold that's lying around anywhere or inside anything, I can pick up. Alright. We're solitude from here. Straight that way. Alright. To solitude I go. Ah. <sighs> Skyrim is such a good game. I love it so much. And this series is hopefully going to be so good and so fun and challenging. I mean, that bear fight was already challenging as it was. Bears are so freaking scary, man. What's that? Is that a deer? Or is that a person? Not a person. Very much not a per Well, it is a person. Just not the type of person I would have liked to see. Necromancers actually do a lot of damage. I don't particularly like it. I'm almost dead because of them. I'm like, what type of shit? Alright. I mean, I could just walk over to it. To be fair, I could just walk over. But I feel like discovering solitude in the stables would be better in the long term as like a fast travel anchor point. So I'm just gonna go do that. And, you know. So, so we have it for future stuff. If we have to go back to solitude, I know I discovered it beforehand and I have to. Oh, I have to fast travel here to some place like three miles away and walk there. You know? I can also discover things along the way, get some more fast travel points and whatnot, and, you know, make it easier for myself later on with new quests. Let's discover this without angering them. Fort Snowhawk. Epic! There's Solitude. Right there. I should I should discover this um this stone too. See what it is. It could be something very useful. Could be. I don't remember all the sanding stones and what the locations are, so I don't know what this one is honestly. I know the guardian stones, but like everyone knows the guardian stones. <laughs> What's this one? The apprentice stone. Those under the sign of the Apprentice Stone recover magicka faster, but are more susceptible to magicka damage. Oh, I don't think I'll be using magic. At all. Uh, we'll see though. You know, like I said, things are subject to change. I could find a tome, magic tome, a spell tome in a uh, chest and decide to use it. Or I could buy one off of a, off of a vendor. It, it, it could go either way, honestly. I think it'd be fun to use at least conjuration. I always love conjuration. <laughs> I think it's like my favorite school <laughs> of magic. It used to be destruction, because I love burning things to death. But, you know. I guess it still is. I guess I still love con destruction, but conjuration is just like the ability to overwhelm people with summoned people, with summoned things, that's just too good to pass up, you know? Are there stairs here I can like go up? I think, yeah, right here. Perfect. Perfect! Perfect! Alright. As you can see, like, I'm still getting like buffers and frame drops and stuff, so. I hope it's not too big of a problem, otherwise, I'm gonna do some serious. I don't wanna do any mod stuff, like taking away any mods or disabling them or like adding new ones because like I don't want to like threaten the integrity and structure of the game even though I think it's already like deintegrified <laughs> that's a word so <laughs> something I also know is that I believe in let me get up here in um jump man jump I believe in this building right here. I think it's that building. 
Might be this one. In one of these two buildings is a chest. I think it's this one. There's um, it's a chest that has like 10,000 gold in it or something. I think it's a mod that added it. I don't know which one. But, yeah. I ain't gonna take the chest. I ain't gonna take the gold. Because I feel like that would be like too much. So, okay. I have the stables discovered. So let's... Where do you want to go? Mark Arth. We'll Thank you. Ever been to Mark Arth? No. Some say it was built Not in this life. I don't a word of it. You ever wonder what happened to the dwarves? Like, I haven't read any lore or whatever on them otherwise. Besides, like, the thing that, like, oh... They scammed the snow elves and took away their sight. I only gotta walk in here briefly to kill this forsworn person. Waylon, I think his name is. Save Margaret's life. Get probably a necklace from her, which is money, so I don't mind that. What's up? You don't die for shit. You in the city. Everyone stay back. The marker has got a bit all under control. No problem. You know why he's after you? I don't have any idea. I was just shopping for a pendant for my sister back in the Imperial City. Oh. That man says something about the force war. I've heard of them. Something about the men who live in the hills and the attack caravans. I'm sorry. I guess he died in a perfect place. You know? If you know anything about, um, these people's, uh, private, private lives. A woman attacked right on the streets. You all right? Did you see what happened? Uh. I heard something, some shouting about the forced one. That was it. Strange. Well, I hope the eight give you more peace in the future for what it's worth. Thank you. Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. It's important. Is this your note? What does this mean? My note. No, that's yours. Must have fallen out of your pocket. Bro, I didn't have any notes in my pocket. Hmm? No. I was just getting some fresh air. Add one too many pints of mead to the silver blood in. Okay. Until next time. <sighs> but if you about their um the people of Markart's private lives. We handle things from here. Move along. Yeah. Okay. Handle things from here. Move along. Fair? Fair enough. Okay. I think this is where we're gonna end off the episode. Right up here with this guard. Uh, next episode we'll go get Serene and then go back. Not probably not to the Dong. Maybe to the Dong guard just to like activate stuff and get her crossbow stuff opened up so we can start doing that. That opens up things we can sell. Uh, like you know. That opens up a bunch of opportunities to get chests, and hopefully the not one is in Soul's time. That would suck, but yeah. And off right here, and I will see you all next time whenever I decide to record another one. <laughs>